staying at Calicoan Villas, pretty nice. And the reception here is amazing. It's the best signal on the whole trip. Incredible signal here. What are you joking? Weird dream. I just remembered it now. I think I just like ran in like so. I was just sleep. Good, very good. What happened to your voice? I don't know, my throat hurts, but I'm still good to go. Louis, are you guys gonna go surf? Not yet. It's too choppy, right? Yeah. We're not gonna get emotional here, but it's the end of the trip for me. I'm leaving tomorrow morning super early, 5 a.m. probably before the guys are yeah, gonna yeah. be awake. And, uh, oh no, really? I didn't yeah, even notice. Is, is oh my god, that's gonna be sad. It's gonna be sad a little and bit. Any final yeah. words from the trip? What, what was your favorite part? Um, actually, the most, the most naturally, my favorite part naturally was the, the of natural landscapes that we visited was the. Uh, yeah, the cave, the cave system was incredible. That we just came to just today, oh, and it's just our second last day. And I just want to say thanks to Kulas, he's been the main boss of the trip, uh, showing us around, telling us where to go, guiding us, uh, making us feel safe and sound and happy and everything. You were never safe. <laughs> joking. What an awesome trip that was. So many things we can take from it, like, you know, everything from adventure, experience, the locals, interaction, but I want to ask Brett, I like it. This is the final thing we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the end for me and you, huh? This is it. We're uh, back again here at this hut from yesterday. And uh, I've been asking the guys a question, what, what they felt about the trip. But I just want to ask maybe Will to give us a motivational insight. Inside, because, you know, a lot of his vlogs are very cater to that. Hey yo, it's Nick Nick and I'm in Canada and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I had to leave the Fighter Boys a little bit early. It was all to get a small little piece of paper to go on my passport. I was looking for it, but my passport's not here. To go to Pakistan, which is where I'm going in about three or four days. The country's not easy to get into, so I was quite excited to be able to get the piece of paper, but I was quite sad to leave the boys a little bit early. Though I think Will was a pretty good replacement. That was incredible. It was incredible to dive in there and see, just see it. And it's literally something I, I would look look at when I was in school and wish I could go to. And now I'm I'm here, and it kind of reminds you, you know, we're, we're very lucky to be here doing so our thing. Brings up memories. It does. It does indeed. So this trip has been great, and it's been great to be with the boys. It's been great to see Finn again and hang out with him. Um, but of course, this isn't going to be the last time that we see each other because I live in Cebu yeah. also and I'm going to see too, so we got a lot of trips co coming up soon. In terms of friendship, I, I think the boys bonded probably better than ever. I mean, the last trip was unreal, but I think we built something really special on this trip. Also, did it showcase everything we did in terms of like helping out and stuff? It's just not our content all the time. We always show positive. And, and I just, I just think we know each other so well now that no matter what happens, what we do, where we go, all the experiences, it's always fun and it's never too serious and it's never not serious. Like it's like, how do I explain? It? I think we can like the banter that we have with all the jokes and like you know, no one takes anything too seriously. Or no one takes everything. Everyone takes something with a grain of salt. What is it that makes you get up every day? and do what you do best without even pushing yourself, it just it goes. For me it's uh, just find something fulfilling, find something that makes, makes you feel like you're making a difference even if it's like to one or two or three people. Um, so for me, I mean, I just get, I, I guess I guess the most fulfilling things that I get are um, messages, direct messages or emails or comments, whatever it is. and and showing how I've been able to reach out to someone and, and change their perspective or change their way of life for the better in, in a positive way. What did you learn from uh, this trip of the Fighter Boys? Number one, that a whole bunch of guys can travel together in very close quarters for 21 days and just be happy and enjoy it without, there's like zero drama. There, actually there was yeah. none, yeah. It's pretty impressive. So that's cool. It's 21 yeah. days, guys. 21 days. The Fighter Boys trip for me has always been a highlight of my time in the Philippines. The first one through Mindanao and the second one now through Leyte and Samar was, they're just, they're just so much fun. Like we're all, all the guys are just so different and our chemistry and interactions are always so funny that it's hard not to be a highlight of my, of my travel life. Philippines, for myself, I went a long time ago, about six years ago, and I immediately recognized it as being one of the friendliest countries in the world. Because not very often, 
do you have, first of all, people who speak English so readily, and number two, just greet you everywhere you go. Often when people wave and run over and say hello and try to talk to you, it's because they want to sell you something. They want something from you. In the Philippines, it's just people saying hi. They want to practice their English, they want to know more about you. That doesn't happen in very many other countries in the world at all. Stuck in the truck. Oh day God. to day out, 24-7. Yeah. I, I, also, I also think that the coolest thing is that when you just go and you don't plan and you just embrace what's around you, that's when you have the best experiences and when you make the best content and you appreciate everything the most. So it's really nice when you get like cool sponsored trips and all this kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, the real trips are these ones. You just go and you rock on and do what you want and interact and learn and be free. That's awesome. And with that said, no plan is the best plan. But the thing that stuck with me most, more than anything, is I'm, I'm a really, you know, I'm a workaholic. And yeah. I, I was so jealous that I saw you guys out here just having so much fun in the province. This is what my life was my first year when I started vlogging, just traveling and vlogging. And, um, you know, I, I built that up to a point where I just started getting so much work and I was just had to be based in Manila and, you know, do that. But life is all about balance. You know, balancing what you want to do and balancing it towards your other goals. More than anything, I think people need to come to the province of the Philippines more. This place is just like happiness and positivity and it's, it's, so it's the reason why all, all of you guys, the fighter boys, me included, us, um, we all grew up in different places all across the world but we all ended up here in the Philippines and, and this is the reason and the, this reminds me just the, the vibes, the happiness, the a simple way of life. Yeah, man. No one is like uh, over the other one. It's just everything is equal. Everyone is. Like, it is happy. very equal. No one's better than someone, or no one's trying to do this yeah. or do that. It's just it's such good camaraderie and such good. It's also a trip that I feel like, you know, there are some moments in your life you're gonna look back and like, dude. I remember that trip. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the first season when we did the first round with the boys. That was like mind blowing. And then being able to do it a second time for a second year in a row, it's pretty amazing. I feel like the bond, like... It grew stronger. It was pretty good before, but th this one kind of solidified that. 100%. More. At least one more time. At least one more time. Yeah. At least one more time. We also have some potential other uh, uh, exploring dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Life is all about all about simplicity. You know, I'm uh, definitely a minimalist. I, I don't carry much with me. I, I don't have anything really valuable besides today. my camera and my laptop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's how I've been. I've, I've always been that way. Because in this day and age, you know, things have become complicated. Life is complicated with with social media. Um, you kind of see things in a way that looks better than it, what it really is. And it is our job to show to show not only the good stuff, but the raw and real stuff, and sometimes the not so good stuff. But occasionally. Occasionally, exactly. Just just for that, you know, reality check. But this is it, man. This is the way of life. Like, I just want to, this, this is what I want. I'm having, like, life-changing <laughs> decisions I've been thinking about lately. It's just like, I just want to live here in the province. This year, what stood out for me in the Fighter Boys trip was the island hopping we did was incredible. The uh, Kapula, especially, like, the cave experience that that Kulas and, have, and I had was, was genuine and true adventure. Like we found this small little entrance to a cave after looking for an hour. You'll see the vlog very soon if you haven't seen it already. And, and it was this giant massive cave filled with bats and it went back so far that we couldn't explore anymore without being in real danger of not being able to find our way out. Every so often there was holes in the ground where people actually were looking for buried treasure. <laughs> it was a true wild island. But in the end, you know, I'm leaving uh, tomorrow morning and you know, I'm just doing a little bit outro with You're the You're leaving tomorrow? Tomorrow morning, man. I yeah. didn't know that. I know. Dude, what the hell? To break the news. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck with Kyle! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's nice to get that feeling right now, but like you said earlier, is that 
we gotta find the balance is that's and that's something I'm struggling with right now is yeah. finding my balance because I've been chasing that the grind the daily grind and uh, I love it but at the same time I'm sacrificing all the things in my life like my health yeah, which yeah, should be a priority and my physique my energy I was always crazy but uh, but there are some things missing from my the perfect spot of work and health getting some inspiration for Bailey you know not only just talking but seeing him on camera is uh, you know something that I've always taken uh, very seriously to my uh, time consuming uh, watching videos online but um, I appreciate I, it man yeah that's true it's true another thing that stands out for me right now and I don't know why is when we first landed on where were we in Bato mm. And we saw the fighter bus for the first time. The sun was setting. There was pigeons swirling everywhere. There was a giant, huge storm cloud. We met the rest of the Filipino guys. Everyone was waiting there, and it was just magic again, getting everyone together. Waterfall day was awesome too. the The boats were were awesome. The the, boat, the torpedo boats. Every time we do one of these trips as the fighter boys, it seems like there's always so many ups and downs. The bus almost exploded. <laughs> I don't know. The way we all are around each other, we just bring each other up. Like, I think it's the coolest thing. And that is one thing that you should take note of. Is just surround yourself with people that bring you up. That is such a good thing. Like, you only learn it when you experience it. So, you hear a lot of people say that, but that is a fact. But I guess, ended on that note. You know, it was nice to have Will here for a couple of days with us. And who knows what it brings um, for us in the future. And perhaps yeah, this won't chance. be a... It'll be the first of many. This won't be the last trip. Yeah, I'm, I'm already talking with Kyle, and we're already <laughs> planning stuff way ahead of doing other stuff. Whoa, whoa, well. whoa! Let's uh, finish the trip. First. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be upset if there's not a number three. All those guys, they all have my heart. We all get along so well with very little difficulties, and so it's our honor really to promote a country, especially areas of a country that needs more promotion. Mindanao and Lente. It was so good to go there and, and meet people and meet you guys, meet the fans, and uh, and showcase areas that uh, that need a little boost in tourism. The Fighter Boys will always have my heart. I'm happy. The people at home, the fans love the Fighter Boys as well, and I would expect at some point you'll probably see a third one, though it's not up to me. Bug kulas. Well, it's up to our schedules, really. We're all pretty busy these days. So if you cross your fingers and we all bug kulas, <laughs> And maybe we can make it happen if the stars align. Thanks so much for joining us on the adventure. The vlogs will still be, be still probably be being put out at this time. So even though we've all kind of separated, there's still lots of content to see. Thank you guys. Experience our possessions, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm Mick Mick of Fearless and Far. If you don't know me, you can type that into not Mick Mick. Mike is my real name. If you didn't know my real name, it's Mike Corey. <laughs> anyway, guess. Catch you later. Enjoy the show, and thanks for Finn putting this together. Thank you for the trip with us. Welcome. Anyways, oh, man. No. That was a wonderful time. 100k! Yeah, baby! So, yeah, I'm gonna miss the boy. I'm gonna miss Finny. <laughs> Finch stuff. We'll see you soon, Dan. We'll see you soon, buddy. Man. Right, Bro, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for you guys bearing with me and, and you know letting me join this trip, this ex exclusive no, you know, fighter boy experience. Um, even though it was a couple days, I really loved it. You did well. I don't know if you're gonna pull up that prank again. Like, yeah. <laughs> Peace. Because my lab lab is waiting for me. Oh, oh Char, Char. Oh, Char. Oh, Char. <laughs> That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. 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 That's good.